In La Sylphide, I'll be performing The Sylph. I thought that she would be sweet and innocent, but it's not that at all. She is actually in his imagination. He dreams her up on his wedding day, I think, because he's a bit afraid of commitment and she's a bit of a fantasy for him. She tries to seduce him. When that doesn't work, she, she's a bit sad and tries to see if that will work. And then she's happy again. She does everything she can in order to get him to the forest, which is her home, so they can dance together. It was really interesting just to see a different way of working. And I think for me, Bonneville is mostly about really being strong in your legs, uh, having to do a lot of small, quick footwork, and but also on the top, having to really just look like it's effortless and not having any strain and just looking like it's easy. And I think that's what's really hard to achieve. My favourite part is Act Two, which is mostly just dancing. I feel like sometimes in other classical solos you do a phrase, then you run to the corner, then you do another phrase of pirouettes. But with La Sylphide it's all dancing. There's not really any big build up to a step or it's just really I think about the joy of dancing and that's really what I like about it.